Good morning folks, it is bright and early, Sunday morning, and we're getting ready to go home. Me and Donna start packing, Donna's a machine, she's doing more than me. But um, yeah, we're trying to get, on the way home, we're trying to get all of our clothes into one suitcase. That's the mission. Why? Because it's easier. Should we be doing it? Yes. <laughs> Donna has come to the conclusion that packing cubes are not the way forward. As you can see here, she is instead rolling up clothes. And when you roll up clothes, you're able to fit so much in. Like this is all mine and Matilda's stuff. And a little bit of Donna's. Just one thing of mine. Yeah. And she's putting all of her stuff at the moment into this side by rolling it up. And with packing cubes, we weren't able to do that, were we? We are so limited. We're hoping, in theory actually, based on weight, this suitcase should still be fine. Yeah, it will be. So, yeah, we just see if we can get all of our clothes into one suitcase. As you can see, the sprog are still asleep. We're watching a Good Day Orlando on Sunday for the last time, sponsored by Attorney Dan Lunan. We see Dan Newland every morning. Dan Newland. Dan Newland. He'll fight for you, get you some money if you've been injured in an accident. Uh, yeah, so let's see if we can get all the clothes into a suitcase and then how much it weighs. Because we haven't packed for four weeks, as some of you guys will know if you've watched our packing vlog. We've packed for like, three. yeah, we've packed for like a week and a little bit. So for each person, so in theory it should be quite straightforward. He says, fingers crossed. Um, yeah, so we'll update you guys in a bit. What is the time anyway? It's it is 8.23. 8.23, so we've got like two and a half hours before we need to be out of the room, so we have plenty of time. Plenty of time. Just don't over here, I'll just show you the madness that's going on. But that's, that's fine, that's fine. So, update. All of our clothes are in that one suitcase. All of our clothes for four weeks. Minus shoes, obviously, but that's good going. However, it is 25.9 kilograms. Our limit is 23, is it? Yeah. So, we're gonna have to do some redistribution, but for now we know that's the heavy one. And the other ones are gonna be full of souvenirs and toiletries and bits of need. So I'm sure we'll be able to redistribute, no problem. So, let's, um, let's see. Currently, when we moved to Animal Kingdom from Saratoga Springs. We did use this one as our souvenir suitcase because it's heavy and hard. I say not heavy, it's hard. It was easier to do it that way. So let's see how many souvenirs and bits we can get in here and things that need to be kept relatively safe. Oh look, Blake's fart gun. <laughs> of course you want that. Of course he did. So certain souvenirs like this, we can utilize packing cubes for. Just keep it safe, make sure it doesn't roll around. That's probably a really good shout, Don Lodder. Not just a hat rack, are you? Yeah. Next case, our souvenir bag, 21.8. So that one's good. That's really good. So next we need to look at shoes, make sure everything's in. And by the way, this is our trash pile. This is stuff that's not coming home with us. Either it's broken or it wasn't very good or we don't need it. So that's really, really helpful. Um, I think we're kind of on this. We got this. Oh, one of our luggage tags came out. That come out of this one, I'm guessing. Mm. Come out of here. Little air tags. I need you to be out. <laughs> This evidence of corruption. Just get away the juice. Get right. your juice. <laughs> get your juice back. <laughs> I love the smell of this shampoo. It's like the best shampoo ever and it makes my hair very soft. So if they're not going to give it to me every day in those little tubs. You're going to take it by force. No, I'll take it by force. I, I respect that. We're packed. It's 11 o'clock. We're waiting for bell services to come. The kids are up eating Oreos. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
seven bags to check into Bell Services plus a plastic bag with our clothes in for the airport. Um, this is all trash, which is crazy. And these bags here of stuff yeah, we're taking to the laundry room so that people can use the stuff we haven't eaten. So there's sort of some like crisps in there and wine. well, there's some wine in there we didn't even drink, a couple of my beers left and stuff. So people, whoever grabs it first can take it. So I'm gonna take that down so people can have it. Um, yeah, other than that, we're, we're basically done. We're just waiting for Bell Services, as I said, to come and get the bag. Bags, should I say. And out here, there hasn't really been many animals this morning. We've got some pelicans. These guys have been here basically the entire time we've been here. Like, these guys love it out in this side of the savannah for some reason. There was a couple of zebras around, but they seem to have gone. Um, so, yeah, it's a very quiet day on the savannah here. It's like they know we're going and they, they're, they're struggling to say goodbye. I feel it too. So yeah, we are going to, this is the kids breakfast, like they're just like munching on Oreos. Last day of the holiday, eat whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Happy? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Our flight has been delayed by an hour currently. I'm assuming that's because a flight coming in from Gatwick is probably delayed. So we're just going to roll with it and see what happens. Either way, we're going to get to the airport for, what's like, what, what did we say? It's like six, 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 six. And just go with see what we've got to do. We've already checked into our flight, yeah, so just going through security and what have you and putting our baggage in. Is it all automatic baggage here? I don't know, I don't know how it works. Mm, let's find out. So yeah, and the only tricky thing is also getting lifts to the airport. Like, I don't know how we're going to do that. A lift XL should be plenty. Like, on the way here it was fine, wasn't it? We get a lift XL yeah. and a normal lift. I go with the... Um, kids in the normal, and you go oh, on the exam. Oh, yeah. yeah. It makes sense to do that. You've got yeah. one lift app, I've got the other. Yeah, I'll do the lift XL. Yeah. And you do the lift. And we should be fine. So, the guys from housekeeping did knock on the door and said, and we're like, oh, you're still here. Our thing says you've gone. I was like, no, we're waiting for bell services. Sorry, give us half an hour and we'll be out of here. So, once that's done, ah, it's caught my finger in the door. Once that's done, we're going to head straight to Disney, Disney Springs first, I think. Yes. Because we're yeah, on the bus. bus route, we might as well do it as it's free. Mm -hmm. And um, we're now to Disney Springs. <laughs> we buy probably, what we got to buy. Buy what we got to buy for some, for some people and ourselves. Um, yeah, maybe get a snack. Yeah, and then I want to Uber to, buy to, people. to Vineland to do some character warehouse stuff. Yeah. And Dollar then Dollar Tree. Tree. We wanted to look in the shop down here first before we yeah. went, didn't we? Because yeah. there's a couple of weeks we need to get from the shop here too, so... It's a shopping day. It's a shopping day. We're spending up all of the money we haven't spent. I can't remember what our budget was to start off with, but we've got a lot still left over, haven't we? It was $220 a day. For the whole holiday, it was like 6000 something, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, and we've currently got about 1400 left. 1400 left. The Finlays have been frugal. And you wouldn't think it from the videos we've done, like showing you the stuff we've brought. And when you think about it, that's a lot of spending money, let's face it, but for a month. So there's $1,173 in our... $1,173 in the Revolut, okay. I think after, with all of our cash, we've got about 1,400 and plus. So yeah, I think we've done pretty well with spending, haven't we really? Yeah. I will say though, I don't know if I said this yesterday, I will say me and Donna are both looking forward to getting back home, sitting on our recliner sofas with a cup of tea and some snacks and maybe a couple of Disney vlogs. <laughs> it's so sad, isn't it? You can leave Disney and you go back to watch Disney vlogs. <laughs> We're a breed of people, so what? Right, there we go. The room is empty ish. Trash, trash. Laundry room, trash, well laundry room, someone's gonna have that. Uh, we're taking this with us as a car seat. This is the Hello Kitty bag we had for Florida in 2016. And it acts as a car seat, which is kind of cool. So we take that in Ubers with us. It's probably the last time we need that this holiday too. Probably Yeah, it's a really good bag, it needs a bit of a wash, but it's a good bag. So let's go and drop this stuff into laundry room and then head to the shop. Goodbye Savannah View. You've been fun by Pelicans, you've been here basically since we've been okay. here. We are ready to go, Blake is ready. This is it, we're done. We're done, we've done it. Bye Disney. Bye Disney, bye bye. Ish. Ish. We've still got lots of things to do. We've still got lots of things to do, so let's um let's take this stuff to the laundry room first. So here we are, second floor laundry room, non-DVC. 
we have put all of the stuff, crisps, bottles of drink, and everything else that people could want here, including Matilda's old bubble wand. People can come and take it, and they can use it to their heart's content, because we can't use it anymore. Something I haven't really shown is when you walk into your rooms, down all the corridors, they've got all these antiquities and things from Africa, including like information facts about masks and all different bits and bobs. So yeah, just another little part of the hotel we think is kind of neat. We haven't shown you really yet, so there you go. We've arrived at, arrived at Disney Springs, we're having a good time. We've literally just got off the bus, I'm we're having a good time. We literally just turned left and started walking. Just seeing what's around, what we can spend our hard-earned cash on. Oh, Tommy Bahama. Columbia Sportswear, Zavira Bradley just back there. There's loads of stuff here. Everything you could ever imagine. High end, low end, Chick-fil-A, Wolfgang Puck. Oh, Chicken Guy. Oh, Chicken Guy, sorry. Chicken Guy, not Chick-fil-A. This one with all the different sauces. It's supposed to be nice. We have kind of arrived at Disney Springs on a lunchtime on a Sunday. So it's going to be busy. So we're going to head over here past the cinema, I think, into Disney style and see what some of the stuff they've got in there. They're currently playing Eye to Eye by Powerline. Loving this. Reminds me of Dance with Goofy. Yeah. That's a memory forever. Huh? That's a memory forever. That is a memory forever. Sixty for that. Yes. It's cute, isn't it? Yeah. And the dress, a little bit of dress. Was it a t-shirt? What's the dress? Well, that is forty dollars. I've been looking for one of these. Tell, tell me that's not cool. <laughs> that's wicked. Who wouldn't love a four town top? $40. That's so cool. It's an MU spirit jersey. I was looking for a spirit jersey. Oh, I really like that. They've all got the prices taken off them. That's annoying. This came out of Disney style and look, there's characters in flight and across the water there. In Saratoga Springs. There's home. So we popped into the um, Star Wars store to look in there. Everything's kind of the same as in the park, so it wasn't really too fussed. But I saw Pele Soccer and thought, oh, let's head into a football store and see. But I find it insane that a jersey like Orlando City, $150. Wow. The England top in there they had was $100. Wow. It's just crazy prices for this sport. It's unreal. Unreal. <laughs> I was remarking about the weather, it's really hot, but it's like not, it's not really nice. humid, it's really quite dry today, it's nice. <coughs> so it's, um... You don't feel like sweat's running down your back, or your eye makes sweat. No, you don't, it just feels bright and hot. It feels really, really good. But, uh, yeah, Labour Weekend is bumping here in Disney Springs, there's people everywhere, everywhere. So there's so many good places to eat in Disney Springs, I mean, just here we've got the Edison, we've got Maria and Enzo's behind me, STK, and that's just like three of like the really good places you can eat to. I mean, we're not going to eat here today, I don't think. It's crazy busy. So we're probably going to head to somewhere like Miller's and just get a nice, a nice reasonably priced burger. We need to go down Vineland anyway, so it's pretty worth us getting out of Disney Springs once we've done our shopping to get some food. That's the plan today anyway. We've just come into the eye catcher store and brought our friend Lou an eye catcher. She's very happy with that one. She picked it herself. So now we're going to make a move, head towards the Disney store. What's our corksicle store here, look. Oh yeah. I noticed as well, a lot of Americans do have these the They do, don't they? Like, even when we went over to Zara yesterday. Yeah, they had them. The whole family was drinking from them. Yeah. It's sort of a done thing to do. It's clever that it saves on waste, I suppose. Yeah. It's really good. Here we are, World of Disney. This is where the money goes. Mum absolutely loves this. She wants, she's wanted this one since she first saw it advertised, didn't you? It's so nice too. 
It's discount. official Starbucks too, and it runs yeah. as official we're Starbucks. Not, with our discount, it's $39.99. Can I pay 40 quid for a tumbler? No. 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 No, you could if you wanted to, no. you're on holiday. More ears than you could ever want. More ears than you could ever dream. We go dangerous times, the home section. That's the cups I was talking about the other day, look. Oh, yeah, so you cut, you. but you've got the different stencils on the top for your, um, if you want to sprinkle your chocolate on your coffee, look. Very interesting. A chopping board, that's nice. 20 bucks. We need to look for pins for um, Marina. Yeah, we'll have a look. There's pins over here, actually. Shall I have a look? I've got this cool Miko tumbler for 30 bucks. And this is nice. Oh, I like this. Little cup with the lid for 25 with some critters on there. That's quite cool. And they have mugs after mugs after mugs after mugs. Whichever ones you fancy. I like quite simple ones like this. Look. Oh boy, I love that. That's very nice. Oh, fuzzy. I like fuzzy. 16 99 It's quite have rubber chicken will travel. Good old fuzzy. I just stopped to look at the mugs. She's gone. I lost her again. Oh, there she is. I found her. So Matilda's found the stitched jersey again. It appears to have landed on our stroller. You know what that means? We might have... Um, done. I think we're done. We might have gone a bit spend happy, but I think it's important we do that on our holiday. A very happy child right there. A very happy child right here. He's so happy he wouldn't let us put them in a bag. But they're only cheap and they're really hard to come by. Once we take all the packaging out, it's um, they're really easy to pack. He's very happy. Oh, did he? Nice. So in Disneyland Paris, I got a selection of um, vintage ride posters, um, which we're going to put up in the house in the new house. But I wanted to see if there's a bunch of vintage ride posters here at the Art of Disney and Disney Springs for Disney World. Let's go and see if we can up. Australia looked in and found this figment here. Best view in the house, $695. Oh, wow. That's lovely. In this shop there's art for days. All your favourite artists. Expensive and inexpensive. Just up to you, what your taste is, what your style is. So have a Disney artist here, Rob Kaz, who's signing pictures and pieces of art that you can buy from him. So this all his work down here and you can buy um, all the prints and he can sign them for you. That's really, really cool. I absolutely love this one. Nearly $4,000, but look at that. Oh my days, that's lush. Sign check by Walt Disney. Holy moly. $22,000. I'm sure you would. Got a drum table here. 19 grand. They put lights and... Um, little images of some of the characters from the Main Street Electrical Parade. Beautiful. That's very, very cool. We found these light boxes with the characters in. I think that we um, we would get them for our new house. I'd, def I'd blatantly cut through plasterboard and slot them in like pictures to give like a 3D effect. That'd be really, really cool. There's some really cool stuff over here. This. Um, Perfect cast is really cool. Some power line up there. Muppet Vision 3D, that's really nice. And next door they've got some more art. There's some more cartoony kind of cutesy art in here. They've got a nice um, turning red one over here for 250. Really cute Robin Hood and Stitch. I do like Tailspin too, that's really funky. When was the last time you saw Tailspin? Yeah. What's that? Oh wow, that's amazing. 345. First, this Princess and the Frog one is really, really awesome. I love that. I also found Empress New Groove. Okay, so we're now waiting for our lift. I couldn't find the artwork that I wanted, which is a bit of a pain, but there was a lot of stuff in there. If I had money, it'd be dangerous. But um, yeah, we're just waiting for our lift now to take us to Miller's. So we have come to Miller's Ale House on the 192. We're sat next to the bar with TV screens showing all different kinds of sports. We've got a volleyball on, we've got some baseball, some tennis, some golf over there. Everything you can imagine. We've ordered some nice food. Tilda's probably got the best looking chocolate milk I've ever seen. 
Unstitch, what are you having to stitch? Um, He's having cheesecake. He's having cheesecake, okay, cool. But yeah, this is quite nice in here. We're on the 192. Funnily enough, we needed to go to Target or a Walmart and Donna wanted to go to Dollar Tree. This ale house on the 192, there is a Dollar Tree and a Target literally across the road, so we can just walk across in a minute, which is great. So we're getting all of our errands done. I also took a trip down memory lane. We did take a trip down memory lane. So it took us all the way down the 192. Yeah. And it was literally drove us past where I came as a kid. So it made you very happy, didn't it? So happy you're gonna cry now. So yeah. We're gonna have some nice dinner now, some nice food. There's a nice bar out there and everything too. This is a nice place. I like this. Let's hope the food lives up. We've heard high praise from everybody, haven't we? So Miller's better be good. So we've got burgers, we've got fries, we've got kids' quesadillas, we've got half racks of ribs and coleslaw, we've got mac and cheeses. Miller's look looking alright so far. Yeah, tasty. The ribs tasty, Rock, they really. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm driving burger, I'm going to tuck into this bad boy and see what this is like. Okay, so we're finished at Miller's. Um, I think reasonable price meal, yeah. 60 odd dollars for yeah. all of us. And it's pretty it good. It was really like seven dollars. Kids' meals are really cheap. Here. I think it was quite cheap. And it goes up to age 12. Yeah, see, that's good, isn't it? Age yeah. 12. But no, Miller's is good. There's also a bar side of Miller's just out here. So outside the restaurant, there's just a bar there. She so can sit there outside and have a little something, something to eat. But um, yeah, we're going to just try and find our way now across the road to Dollar Tree and Target and see what we can do. Um, I will say also that was probably the best burger I've had since I've been in Florida. And you said it was the best ribs you've had too, didn't you? Ribs. That was really, really tasty. I just had a bacon cheeseburger, like it wasn't anything fancy. But with the crispy onions in there and stuff and the uh, the type of, of, of patty that they made, they homemade it here at the Ale House. You can tell because it kind of fell apart. Like it was, yeah, it was really tasty. Really, really good. I think so we no did well. one ticked off of everybody that, <clears throat> that kept saying to us that we needed to come here. All the different places people tell us to try, that was one of them, wasn't yeah, it? So BJ's was... was another, so we ticked that off. Yeah, BJ's, that one ticked Apple off. Bee. There's a few that still need to tick off, but you know, there's there's next time. There's always next time. So yeah, let's see if we can get across this ridiculously large road. So there's Dollar Tree, and this massive building across the road from us is ta -ta 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 Target. Dollar Tree first, then Target. Halloween candy! Halloween stuff. Donald's well happy looking at her. She's so happy. First impression, smells like being a How? In what way is it better? Just more variety. More, more variety, child. There is a lot of Halloween stuff. I'll say that much. Look. We've got skulls, we've got beads, we've got pumpkins, ghosts. Everything. Here she is in her natural habitat. I'm getting my cousin Deanna these. Okay, why? Because she likes everything to do with water. So I'm gonna buy her these. Okay. And hanging things for her kitchen. Beautiful. I rescind my earlier B&M comment. It's very much like a pound land, not a B&M. Extreme value. 125 for blueberry muffin mix. This is pound land. American pound land. So five and below is like the works meets B&M. Very strange. Very strange. Better than, better than Dollar Tree. Well, everything from like toys to books to stationery to cuddly toys. So Donna has picked up a year planner for her work at Five and Below, as well as a planner for her friend Georgia. Hi Georgia, for her wedding. So now we're on to Target. Well, here we are, our first time ever, I think, in Target. I don't think you've even been up as a Target. I don't think I have, you know. So this is it. There's way more clothes than I expected. It's a good thing. I'm guessing it's more homeware than food. Yeah. She's loving Target. Look at her walking around. She's just enjoying life. Lots of Legos, lots of toys. The turtles are making a big come up, come back with a new movie. Turtles everywhere. Oh, Halloween costumes. Oh, Death Eater mask. Nice. Till you'd have loved that when you were a kid. Wow. That's a cool costume. It's a very cool costume, $25. Don't get many of them at home. You can get a sword to go with your arm too for Bumblebee for $10. Optimus Prime. It's just 
They have the best costumes in the States, don't they? It's a whole descendant section. Princesses, mermaids, Dorothy. Got a whole descendant section, look. That's a big inflatable skeleton. See them down Shearwater this year, maybe. That's a Jack Skellington one behind you, $60. It's pretty Could cute, isn't it? Back? Could be getting back? Probably not. I don't think we've got space big enough. Hello, Paul. Not lost, huh? Ah, Dios Motos. Dead for Dead. That's really funky. You get, no, you get none of this at home. None of this at home. That's always cool. So is he. Yeah, you smell this. Smell that. It's like caramelly. Oh, yeah, it's lush. Photo frames. Could have got those for a friend. This is decent. If everyone saw like our photos from years back, we did an ofrenda in the living room, it was lush. We'd like to do it again with more space. So these are things that exist in the States that don't exist in the UK for your pumpkins. Things like accessories that you can put on your pumpkin for five dollars or even better. Golden paint and carriage accessories so you can make it into a princess carriage for ten dollars tell me that's not cool you can put bluey on there little paw patrol guys i think he's called marshall this is wicked i don't see any of them in the state in the uk even even sarah sanderson let's have a look at you oh that's cute Oh look, Halloween gingerbread houses. You got a witch's tower. That's wicked. Isn't it beautiful? Whoa. That'll take ages. Maybe. Be worth it though. How much even is it? Uh, it is. Well, fifteen. Fifteen bucks. Again, that's not too bad, is it? Tasker haunted village. Dracula's castle. Pre oh, this is so cool. Man, the US does Halloween better than us. Successful trip to Target. We're now just waiting for our lift back to Animal Kingdom Lodge. A couple more bits to get in the shop over there, and then we need to sort out the bags again before we head on to the airport because we've got more stuff. More stuff. We've arrived back at Animal Kingdom Lodge. It's very, very hot out there. It's very nice. Mm. Excuse me. It's very nice and very relaxing in here already. We're trying to decide what time we need to be at the airport. The plane is delayed. Has it been delayed anymore? Oh yeah. Check now, see if it's been delayed anymore. I'm hoping not. In theory, we've, only, we've already checked in online. And if the plane isn't leaving until like quarter past ten, we haven't got to be there until like... What was it, four, three, four hours before? So what's that, like six, seven o'clock? We'll figure it out. Okay, so that was a little relaxing stop off at Jumbo House. We did pop into the store at Jumbo House just to grab um, like a magnet and a couple of tiny bits that we needed. And there was a big thing that Donna wanted which was a another spirit jersey from, um, it was a 100th celebration spirit jersey which you see everywhere. On the back of the one particular one at a DVC resort it will say Disney Vacation Club. But um, in this shop they only had the Walt Disney World version and not the DVC version. I could walk over it on my own. So we're hot footing it to Kidani. We're hot footing it, Matilda's in a spirit jersey. <sighs> for some silly her. reason. It's very hot, too hot for a spirit jersey. So hot footing it to Kidani to get the spirit, spirit jersey. jersey. We think that in three years time Matilda's going to be buying stitch stuff. That's, yes. that's a prediction. I think she will. Okay. Yeah. I think she'll still be all stitched up. So, the trick is in here to get a spirit jersey. The trick actually will be to come with only the, to buy only the spirit jersey. Because there might be something else we want. We just don't know yet, we'll see. Anyway, mission successful. Mum got what she wanted. But not quite in the manner in which she wanted it. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. But she got it. Which she's happy about. So, and a Christmas decoration. Which we can show you guys later on maybe in a haul video or something i don't know we've got a lot of stuff so now we're gonna head back get bell services hand over the tickets get our bags and distribute stuff where necessary and then get the bus bus lift lifts plural to the airport 
because it's that time, I suppose, unfortunately. Time is getting away from us. We haven't been delayed anymore. We are going to the home with the rabbits. Are the rabbits still there waiting for yeah. us in the house? Yeah, they're waiting for us. Karina's been feeding them for us. Aww. Do you think they missed us? We're coming back for them. We're coming back for them. Here we go, luggage is here. Luggage is packed. Just the stroller and this extra one here and this one here, which is eight bags. It will be eight bags in total. So our lifts are booked and we're just getting ready to head to the airport. Sad times. The Finlays have arrived at the airport. It's been a mammoth journey with some stop with some stop start, some stop start lifts. But that's by the by, we're gonna check in now, get rid of our big suitcases and get changed, I think, yeah? We have gone through security and we are now in terminal C. Oh. Sounds like um sounds like home alone. Long stop to New York. But no, we are at um, the terminal C and we're checking our flight. It's on time, ten past ten PM. The time is currently 25 to 8, so maybe an hour and a half waiting here, which isn't too bad, that's okay. Bad, worse. Um, security was a nightmare because Blake started ticking and really hated that situation. Yeah, that he was, just went off that, on one. That was tough, wasn't it? Everybody has children with special oh. needs. There's just, you just gotta go with it. Just go with the, whatever. That was it crazy, is, wasn't it? What happens, but Blake was completely off the chain. He was. Back then. And what, a lot yeah. of shouting and a lot of ticks going on. Yeah, it was bad. It was rough. And we also realised that um, we checked the wrong bag. We checked one of our hand luggages in because they let we us do it. We gave the opportunity to check a load of hand luggage in. We were like, great, fantastic. Um, so we checked the bag in that we thought had the candy in it. Yeah, instead we checked them on with all of their activities on it. So but the best bit is, when they check the candy, they have to check it individually. But the lady was so good, she literally scanned it, didn't she? And yeah. Oh, it is Slinky Dog. So yeah, we've just had a nightmare. So, but it's fine. We're till, because we've checked bags in, we <laughs> shouldn't have a problem getting stitched through now with her hand luggage. No, it should be back. fine. Yeah. It should be fine. So, we need to have a little dot around, get changed, yeah, get something to drink. Down, we God. need something strong, don't we? There's a wine bar over here somewhere. Oh, we met up. Because Shit. that was tough, Matilda. That was tough. So, let's... Yes, well you don't need to, but some people like to because it calms you down. She paints you in such a good light, doesn't she? It was very stressful. So let's um let's get some stuff done. So we stupidly come into the Universal store and we found some of the things that we really wanted. We wanted some of these retro retro glasses. There's an ET one, there's a King Kong one, there's an earthquake one. Back to the oh, no, Back to the Future. King Kong, Jaws, those four. Oh, that's the four That's I'm four? Yeah. Alright, let's... Forty dollars. Let's do that. Let's do it. The Donna sent me on a mission to see if I can find the t-shirt that she wants upstairs. But it looks like all of it is just Harry Potter. And she doesn't want the Harry Potter. She wants a Universal t-shirt. I don't think it's up here. Mmm. No, she's going disappointed. It's just Harry Potter merch up here. There's the t-shirt. She found it downstairs. They haven't got her size, but if she wore it really, really big, it could be a good night dress. Be a night dress, wouldn't it? Yeah, that is cute. I'll probably get more wear out of it wearing it as a night dress. True, yeah, yeah. It's free. Why? No price on it. Oh, well, I'll take it. I'll take it. It is now ten past nine. Um, our flight isn't delayed anymore. It looks like it's still taking up to 10 past 10. We have been to Shake Shack, which is right in front of us. There it is. The kids have had chips. Matilda's had a chicken burger, or half a chicken burger. And we're just kind of sat here chilled, waiting for um, our plane to start boarding, which actually shouldn't take that long. If it's going to take off in an hour, I can't imagine it'd be long until they start letting us on. No, they're not going to. They're probably falling us. We're calling it any time now. I can't see the board to change though. Either way, we found the gate, and the gate's not very far away. So 
the Druids just around the corner. That's a good thing with Terminal C, I think, when you're leaving departure wise, all the gates are just here. There's not a very big difference. So, good job, matey, fries. So it's not like when you arrive at Terminal C, you've got to walk miles, leaving's much easier. So, I'm gonna get on the flight, flight in a minute, and I guess we'll see you on there. I'm hoping they're gonna have new movies and stuff on the flight, I haven't checked yet, but that'd be, that'd be a good thing. Not that I'm gonna be awake much, but I'm sure as soon as I sit down, if they take off and the lights go off, I'm gonna be asleep. I think we all are, because we are knackered. I'd love a good sleep on a plane. Never happens to me, though. We'll see. So we have moved from about 100 meters that way to gate C243. The crazy thing is, our flight that was originally supposed to be 9.16 to this evening, so it should have taken off now as it's 9.27, the flight was delayed to 10 past 10, which is fine, and now it says the flight is taking off at 10.26, and yet the board still says the flight's on time. You tell me why. You tell me how that makes it on time. Surely it's delayed by an hour and like 15 minutes, but, but yeah, apparently they got their own rules when it comes to time space. Anywho, we're waiting at the gate for them to start calling people. We've sat at these tables because they've got um, wireless charging, which is quite nice for your phones. That's quite nifty, isn't it, really? And we're just trying to entertain Blake because the boy is going nuts. He's so tired, it's such a stressful environment for him. He's really, really struggling. If so facto, we're really, really struggling. So we just want to get him on the plane, give him some melatonin, and just get him just to calm down and go to sleep because he really needs it. He's just wired and stressed. Finally, we're on the flight. What time is it? It's 10, 10, 10 to 11. 10 to 11. So, way later than we expected. The original flight time we checked was actually 10 to 9, so 8.50. Yeah. So that's crazy, isn't it? I think if we are if three hours late in departing, we're in with due compensation. So we are technically due to that. Well, actually not quite yet, 10 to 11. Oh yeah, it, it all depends apparently on how um, when you arrive at your destination. So we'll see, we'll, we'll, we'll check the mass when we get back. Um, but it doesn't say what time it's due to land yet or anything like that, so we can't do that. But, um, we don't know what was going on with the plane and why they wouldn't let us board. It was something to do apparently with the engineers needing to sign something off. I don't know. Technical stuff, I don't care about. I should care, but I don't, I'm too tired. Um, so I've just sat down, they've got the new Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse movie on here, which is really cool, and well. Um, yeah, so we are sat, prepped, ready and raring to go. Everyone, as you can see, is boarding on the flight. They allowed people who were experienced, who needed assistance to board, and people with children under the age of five to get on first, hence why we're sat here for the day before. Um, we're hoping he's going to zonk out in a minute. He's had a melatonin, so he can just, like, go down. Stitch has got his own seat in the middle. <laughs> Got a new family member. Can I help you? You you flying this plane? Mike, Mike, Mike. Mike, Mike, Mike. Who's Mike? You're Mark. <laughs> Are you guys? Matilda is desperately deciding what to watch. Literally, I want to see the airplane hasn't taken off yet. It is full. Everybody's on. By the way, taking time to take off. By the way, what? Well, I look very tired. Me too. <laughs> Um, I'm very annoyed with British air, air, Airways um, because they don't have any Tim Burton films. Yeah, they don't. She wants to watch something epic. I said Lord of the Rings, she said no. Yeah, Lord, I don't want to watch Lord of the Rings. Anywho, Any we're still getting ready to take off. They said that we were delayed because the flight was delayed coming from Gatwick. Yeah. And the engineer said there was a slight problem somewhere which is now fixed. They didn't say what it was, but they were like, safety's main concern. We're happy now. We're going to run. We're ride. happy. So the plane's happy. We're currently just sat still at Terminal 3. We haven't taxied yet. I haven't gone anywhere. We estimate to be, I think it's 8 hours 14 flight time, which is pretty good. With an estimation. 
estimated time arrival in London of about 12.30ish. <laughs> so later than we thought, but that's probably better. Uh, so it means we don't have as long to wait up on the other side before bed. <laughs> this is what happens when your kids are overtired. <laughs> and this. <laughs> it just gets annoyed at everything. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Alright, I, I, I picked like three horror films I want to watch. I, I already picked some films that I want to watch. Because the kids are asleep and I can't sleep, I've got horror films, so I'm quite happy. The Pope's Exorcist, Scream 6, and The Boogeyman. Oh, it's The Boogeyman? No, too young, I think. Oh, I know what The Boogeyman is. He's a green guy and he, look, he looks like Bogey. No, that's Fungus the Bogey Man. It's different. Oh. Well, that's just sad. Yeah, it's sad. Anyway, I'll uh, update you when we're in the air. Yes, Queen. So, update. We're taxiing. We haven't take, oh, took off yet, but he's already asleep. Like, he's gone. My hair's so curly. My hair is curly. <laughs> Thank goodness Blake is asleep. So now, it's chill time. Can you hear that? <laughs> Can you hear the sound? What sound is? Peace and quiet. Can you With hear it? the sound plane good? taking off, yeah, 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 that's really quiet. Um, and this is good news because I can probably watch yours. You're gonna watch yours? You can watch yours? Yes. Good luck with that. I gotta have that. I'm watching Spider Man across the Spider Verse. We have not seen it yet. I'm looking forward to this bad boy. Really am. I'm just going to be watching art. Okay, screen. well, when we get home, I'll probably be on Fletch and watch it then. But I'll be going to bed on bedtime because... We're going to be sleepy. I'll be surprised if you stay up for a whole film. Here we go, first drink service. Got whiskey and coke. Till's got apple juice. Mum's got, oh, a little gin. A <laughs> gin. She made a friend as well. She's always making friends, is Don. A little Tanqueray, is it? Nice. Oh, let's get Spider Man. It's really funny so far. I'm enjoying this. So the dinner service has started. Matilda's got her meal. She's got some chicken. I think it's like macaroni cheese ish. Some vegetables. A little sour pot. Mm. Excuse me, I'm more than tired. Um, bread and a little chocolate mousse with a Kit Kat. So he's got his food too, but he's Sparko, so I don't think he's going to eat anything. Until he's very happy, sat here with her food, watching Megan. Having a great time. Loving her best life. Hi. I just said you were living your best life. Yeah, I'm watching Megan. Dinner has turned up. I got me a little bottle of Merlot. So Tilda doesn't like her <laughs> chocolate mousse. I went for the chicken option, which should be chicken, mash, and vegetables. Let me try and get this open. And there she is chicken, mash, and veg. Looks okay. Got a little chocolate mousse with bread, cheese, and crackers. Not too shabby for Jake, not too shabby at all. Dinner was actually really, really nice. Enjoyed my chicken. Enjoyed all of it actually. I just didn't need a keen work, so I wasn't really in the mood for it. But the wine helped, the whiskey's helped, ambient lighting has come down, making everything look nice. Blake's still asleep, Matilda's about to have a little nap. We're gonna give us melatonin and see how she gets on. We've got about six hours left on the flight, so it's still quite a way to go. Um, I think Donna's going to go to sleep over here. It's the joy of travelling with children. Don, you having a nap? You can have a nap. Better than the first one. 
well. The first one was great, but this is really, really good. But, um, I'll watch that, and I might fall asleep watching something if the camera wants to focus. I might fall asleep watching something like The Office. Yeah, you know it is. Wow, wow, I look rough. She hasn't woke up. So yeah, we'll see what breakfast looks like. It won't be long until we start to uh, descend into Gatwick. Hooray! Breakfast is served. We have coffees. You got a coffee or a tea? We have coffees and ham, egg and cheese breakfast bagel, which actually looks really, really good. I'm impressed. How are you feeling? Yeah. Oh, right. He's knackered, he ain't waking up, is he? Just the worst. Aren't they? They are the worst night flights. Yeah. Terrible. She's happy. I'm watching Captain of the Pages. Alright, sweet. So I'm stuck into this bad boy and let you know how I get on. I'm feeling a little bit more awake after the coffee and the breakfast. Wow. That bagel. Quite nice actually, a bit rubbery but they are paint food dish. We've got about 15 minutes till 55.0 until we land. Um, flight's been smooth, she's very happy watching Captain of the Pants. So yeah, we're nearly there, nearly made it home. Can you believe that after a month? It's nearly finished, we're nearly home. Yeah. It feels weird. Look forward to a nice cup of tea though, I'll say. Can't wait for that. He's literally slept from the time we got on the plane to the time we landed. He hasn't woke up once. Seriously, last time you saw us, did it? I was probably down. Afternoon, people. We are home. This feels like the longest travel day vlog ever. I'm a travel home day vlog, but here we are. What did we say we wanted to do? We wanted to get home and now recline the sofas with a cup of tea that burnt Donna's hand. And we're just going to chill. We've currently got a Tim Tracker vlog on watching a Disney vlog. <laughs> Who else does that? Go to people and what puts on a Disney vlog. This is the Tim Tracker vlog that involves yours truly. Yes, I'm in the background of this vlog. So we are watching this um, and just reminiscing about yesterday when we were in Florida. Sad, isn't it? It's nice being home at home comforts, but my God, we miss Florida already. This time yesterday we were in Dollar Tree maybe, it's quarter to one in the afternoon. Oh uh, yeah, probably. So I'm probably going to wrap up this travel home day vlog here. I could show you the floor. Actually, I will show you the floor. Like show Check the floor. this out. Looks bloody mental. We just kind of unpacked bits and bobs. My parents came round to drop off the dog. So we've got like just stuff everywhere. And we've just kind of given up and just thought, let's have a cup of tea. So this is how we roll in the Finlay house. <clears throat> we also have the dog back too, which is really, really nice. Dora's here with us. She missed us lots and lots and lots. 
In fact, here she is. Busy. Do you like being home with us, Toshi B? Oh, yeah, you Dora. Back and eat cheese. Did you miss us? You missed us, didn't you, baby girl? Yeah, she did. So, this is us. We're done. Blake is tired. Even though he slept for like nine hours straight on the plane, he's tired and upstairs shouting. As you can hear, um, I don't think it's going to be a late one to bed for us tonight. I think we're all going to get to bed early and chill. We do need to think about food at some point, but I'm thinking takeaway tonight because oh, yes. it's holiday mode still, right? Come on. Come on. <laughs> to put that in. Good evening. Hi. <coughs> Tried to say good morning, but it's not morning. It's still evening. It's still the same day. It's nine o'clock. Oh, we are tired. We are tired. <laughs> we got back. I lift back from my dad and our friend Andy. Thank you guys for giving yeah. us lift back. I really appreciate it. We had a lot of luggage. We had a lot of luggage. Matilda fell asleep for a little bit in the car, but the kids are now upstairs in bed. We've stayed up all day. We have McDonald's just because we're still in holiday mode and we don't want to cook. We've got no, no food in it either. So, right, our lovely neighbour Karina has been looking after the rabbits. Got us bread, milk, <laughs> ham, and fruit. That she did. And she put it in our fridge. And then Which your mum nice bought for... bread, milk. Um, we had a lovely surprise when we got back too. Oh yeah, we did. So our lovely friends had a lovely package delivered for us. And it was sweeties in the post. Ooh. A little treat for you. So it's full of Cornish um, tea, some chocolate, some British food, British snacks. Which is really, really nice. Very nice. And then they got us this flag. Which you can probably make out. Yeah, there you go. It's very nice. Yeah, but I won't read it because you'll cry. Uh, good friends oh. are like stars. You don't always see them, but you always know they're there. Oh. And they are exactly the same to us as we are to them. And we're very fortunate to have good friends. So thank you well, very yeah. much. Thank Lynch you G. very much to Lynch Henry, G. Henry and Ava. Ava. Thank you. Thank you. So we are going to wrap up and go to bed. We've got to um, get Blake because he's now fast asleep in Matilda's bed dressed as Bumblebee. Mm -hmm. The outfit we got him for Halloween from Target. Target. And he's wearing it and he's dressed. We've got to undress him and scoop him into bed. I'm sure it'll be fine. He's knackered. We've also come back to a random problem. The TV in our bedroom oh, yeah. has decided just to stop working. I turn off most of the plugs, as I'm sure most people do when they go on a holiday. And we turned on the plugs today and the TV in our bedroom. Like this. You've got sound, but the picture's not working. So I'll try and figure that and, out tomorrow. And games tomorrow. So we're going to wrap it up. Thank you so much for joining us on this month-long adventure to Florida. We've had an amazing time. The Florida Blues are going to hit us hard Big time. over the coming weeks. So we're going to edit and publish those vlogs as much as possible and relive our adventure. We'll probably throw in another couple of random vlogs like maybe some haul stuff just so you can see what we brought. Um, some things we learn things we learn along the way i would say tips and tricks but it's not it's kind of a a learning curve do do this don't do this do this yeah more of a lessons learned type of thing and project management again like lessons learned mm -hmm. check me out um so yeah we're going to do that so stay tuned to the channel i say stay tuned to the channel it's like the last vlog so you've been here the entire time yeah so if you have been here the entire time and you've been on the whole journey with us thank you so much mm. we've really really enjoyed having you all along with us Thank you to everybody that was on Facebook during our time while we were away, when I was blogging every day on my personal account. Um, it was really appreciated, and I really felt like a lot of you were on the holiday with us, so it was lovely, so mm, thank you very much. Amazing, yeah. Thank you so much, everyone. We really appreciate your love. Yeah. So, on that note, we're going to love and leave you, because we are exhausted. But we will speak to you very, very soon. See you later. Thanks. Bye.